All right, what's going on, Yellow Buckets fans? I'm here at the National Video Game Museum in Frisco, Texas, with one of the owners, John Hardy. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you sir. Great, I'm loving the place so far. Awesome. Uh, appreciate taking a couple minutes to answer a few questions. So. Sure. Um, I guess the first question is, uh, how did this whole idea come to fruition, and how did it get to where it is today? So it really stemmed from a collection. You know, myself and my two partners have been collecting for years. Okay. Um, and you know, basically, we started doing our own convention in 1999 oh, nice. called Classic Gaming Expo. We did that for years in Las Vegas. Uh, we started doing actual E3 or trade shows. Yeah, yeah. Things. Putting on historical uh, exhibitions at those shows. Started building up. Right. Yeah. We got up to about four or five shows a year. We've done uh, South by Southwest, PAX, you name it. We've, we've probably done it. Um, cool. And really, it was at one of those shows called Dice, where we met a gentleman named Randy Pitchford. Mm, gearbox. So, you got home, right? Sweet. So Randy introduced himself. He said, Hey, I'm building a new building in Frisco for my headquarters. Uh, we could probably have some space available. I hope what you guys are doing, would you be interested? Uh -huh. and we basically followed up with him. Randy's a real stand-up guy. Yeah. And he followed through and he introduced us to the city. The city was really stoked on what we were doing. We proposed it to them. They said, yep, let's do it. So they were very forward-thinking in that way that they, uh, they bought into what we wanted to do. Oh, that's great, yeah. And uh, they invested in it and here we are today. Sweet. So about how much would you say is your guys' collection collectively and then how much is donated? So from what you see on, on the floor here, mm -hmm. I would say 90% is our collection. Oh wow, yeah, that's yeah. pretty astonishing. Um, but you know, there's a lot more in storage in the back. Right, a lot right. more stuff to show. Uh, just a limited amount of space. You know? Cool, cool. And uh, where do you see uh, the museum being in about five, ten years? Well, ideally, we're going to expand. Yeah. So there'll be opportunities coming up where we can pick up some more space. Uh, the ultimate, we call this Museum 1.0. Right. 2.0 is our ultimate goal. When we first designed the museum, we had ideas for 56 exhibits. Uh, we only were able to put about 18 to 20 in. Right, yeah. So we have a lot more to, you know, ideas, a lot more to show. Um, cool. And hopefully we'll be expanding this way and picking up another maybe 30, 40,000 square feet. Oh, wow, that would be. Um, ultimately, <laughs> ultimately, we want to have a full blown research library. Uh, we can come in, we'll have workshops, maker spaces, we want to design a circuit, we'll have the equipment there. If you want to be able to back up an old 8 inch uh, floppy disk, we'll have the equipment there. Uh, that would be so, really a unique experience, right, definitely. Right. Definitely. So uh, I guess I gotta ask, what is your favorite game? Or if you had to pick right now on the spot, what would be your favorite game? Ask me for a video uh, console or uh, arcade? One of each. One of each. Alright, well arcade, I gotta go with RoboTron. Okay, yeah, that's I mean, a great, yeah, great stick game. shooter, man. Really, really hit a, a, a certain balance with that game that made it just endure, you know, all these years. And, mm -hmm. um, and we've been trying to pick one up for the museum as well. And it's getting really tough to find. Yeah, we, we got one now that we're going to work on to put in there. But, oh, really? Yeah, cool. Thank God I can play it right now. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, on the home console side, I was always an Atari guy, so uh, for me, the 8 bit computers were some of the best game machines. Mm -hmm. So, games that come to mind for me that I played probably the most was Minor 2049 or the sequel of Bounty Bob Strikes Back. Oh, cool. Really good platform games that. Uh, I have to look into those. I don't even think I've ever heard of those. Excellent, excellent. Definitely good stuff. Oh, cool. Okay. So, on the topic of Atari, I, I guess my final question is. Is there a back room with the Atari porn games? With the what? The Atari porn games. No. <laughs> Actually, there's one in the cabinet right in front yeah. of you there. You know? but, uh, I just had to ask. Yeah, 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 no, there's a... Uh, that's, that's a crazy little bit of history right, right there. Right. No, we have, I actually think we have X-Men over there in the kiosk, and, and then the store display here, we yeah. have... Uh, uh, it's uh, Philly, Philly Flash, I yeah, saw Custer over by the yeah. They're out setup. there, they're out there, but there's no secret back room. Okay. There, so. Darn. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty pretty good. Just a quick few questions. Like I said, I really appreciate the time and uh, the opportunity to come out and see all this awesome stuff. Like, Great. blowing my mind, and I can't wait to have an opportunity to come back and see what you guys have. Glad you made the trip. Yeah, Thanks thank very you. Much. Yeah, nice to meet you, sir. Bye.